1984 Triumph Acclaim 1.3 litre petrol. This is an automatic one, this one. Loads of uh, bits and pieces in the history file there. We'll get around the mileage in a minute. We've got 90% of the uh, MOTs, 90% of the MOTs for the mileage, because if you look at the mileage on there, it's 45,216 miles shown on the clock there. That's a nice amount of history with it. 90% uh, of all the old MOTs there, only missing a couple. Right, body weight wise, we'll start off the bonnet. Nice and straight and tidy up the centre of the bonnet onto the scuttle. We've got no corrosion around the bottom of the windscreen. Nice and straight down the right hand side around the vents. And the same again on the left. The odd, very, very small sort of surface scratch where it's been washed over the years. But apart from that, all of the clean and tidy. Nice and straight, headlights are all clear, the chrome's good across the front. There's a few little stone chips on the front there. So we come down onto the left hand side of the bumper, a little bit of a mark on the bumper. Across the front, nice and tidy across there, all the plastic's good. Bumper corners are all alright, lower valance, a few little stone chips. But no big lumps of corrosion, ain't nasty like that. So we come round onto the left hand side, onto the front drivers. We large a few little blebs down the bottom edge there. It's quite quite hard to notice them with it being this colour. You've got to be quite fairly close to the car to notice that. Around the arch, nice and tidy. Nothing coming through on the top half of the arch there, visible to me. Wheels are all lovely as well. Wing top and the suede signs, all nice and straight up there. A few little marks at the front here. Uh, would, would benefit from a little bit of a, a polish. Odd little mark on the driver's wing there, but like I say, very, very... Hard to notice these sort of bits of pain flake there on the right hand side. Lovely and straight down the driver's side as you come across the lower half. No black shawl signs or nastiness there. No blebbins on the bottom of the doors again. A little bit of a stone chip touch in there. Up onto the rub strip. And just see that it's gone a little bit flat there. As you come up onto the driver's door again. A little bit of a mark underneath the wing mirror. Around the handle, I haven't got no big scratching. A little bit of a mark around the lock there. All the chrome work is good on the driver's door. Up onto the roof, nice and straight. And tidy across the centre half of the roof. Again, the odd little surface scratch where it's been washed over the years. We've got a tiny little bit of bubbling here on the rub strip. And a little bit there at the very back on the driver's side. As you come back down onto that driver's rear door, lovely and clean and tidy down the door itself. Again, no nastiness across the bottom half. We've got a few little blebs in the paint here at the back edge of the, the front edge of the driver's rear arch, but it hasn't sort of broken through the head of the paint. We had a little bubble on the back section of the driver's arch there. Rear quarter again, nice and straight. A few marks around the handle on the driver's rear. See that and the odd little mark in the paintwork on the rear quarter on the driver's side, but again, nice and straight down the side. Bottom of corner, nice and clean. It's attached nicely, it's not hanging off at the back anywhere. A little bit of a run in the paint there, just above that. Rear light lenses are nice and clean as well. Bottom of corner on the left hand side's all good. Across the back of the bumper, you'll see a few little marks on the satin bumper where stuff's been put in the boot over the years. Nice and straight across the bottom half of the boot lid, up onto the top half of that deck lid there. Lovely and straight, we've got no corrosion around the windscreen or on that rear scuttle. Let you have a good look at that there. As we come round onto the left hand side rear quarter, lower half, all nice around this arch, is lovely and straight. Tidy few little bits at the bottom there, but it's nice to see that it's not black. Sometimes you get these in the black hole for you up the arch with stone guard. No major marking around the petrol cap. There's a few little marks at the top there but no big dents or scratches again down the left hand side. Nice and tidy onto the passenger rear door. No real marking around the handle once again. The odd little stone chip here and there. As you come up onto the passenger front door, nice and straight. Very, very presentable this one and very usable, especially with being automatic, it's quite rare than so so. Around the front wheel arch on the passenger side. Again, nice and tidy, a few little bits in the paint. Tiny little mark down there on the front valance. We'll come back so you can have a good look at that. Seems to be all one shade of brown as well, or beige. Sits lovely and level. 
into the interior now. Door card itself is in lovely condition. No, no nasty marks, no cracking. The handles are all nice and secure. No cracking to the door tops. Not much wear at all to the cloth section. No rips or tears. Onto the driver's seat now, showing minimal use at all, minimal wear. No real wear at all to the bolster. There's no rips, there's no tears, there's no discoloration. Even on the bottom half section there, that looks to be as good as you're going to find, that's for sure. In the middle there, all nice and tidy. A little bit of sag in the middle, but a bit of the swab cloth there. No rips or tears or cigarette burns, anything like that. Underneath these shiny mats, the brown carpet set is all okay. A little bit of wear to the back section. Dashboard's lovely and clear. Steering wheel's nice and tidy. Across the top of the dashboard, no cracking there. Finished in brown, lovely and straight as you come down the centre console. All nice and tidy, not even much wear around the gear stick, around the gear selector. Like I say, the steering wheel's lovely and fresh. The dials are lovely and clear and clean there, no cracking in that. Headlining, lovely and clean, no sagging, no rips or tears or burns in that at all. Into the driver's rear, again the same condition, door card's lovely and straight, no problems at all with that. Rear seat, same condition, had minimal use in its life, that. that's not seen many, many bums on seats. Again, brown carpet set in the back, nice and clean and tidy. We'll have a good look at the headliner once again from the right hand side rear. Into the boot now, got a steering lock there and some carpet. We're going to carefully lift that up. Have a look at that boot floor there. James is going to lift that up for us. Bit more household carpet in there, got a spare wheel, but all in all, nice and presentable in there. Some nice trying to claim cushions of that sort of thing. Passenger rear door again, door cards lovely and straight, no clips missing, no tearing or sagging to the cloth at all. And the passenger side rear seat showing no use there whatsoever. Lovely and clean and tidy in the back of there with a the brown cloth. Into the passenger front and again nice and straight, a little bit of bubbling, a little bit of flaking on the, on the chrome trim there. The seat itself, once again, no rips or tears or, or wear at all to that. As we go into the engine bay, all nice and presentable in there. The little 1.3 litre petrol engine, it's automatic this one. We're going to do a cold start up here, so we'll have a little bit of choke on. But yeah, the choke there, ticking over nice and happy that. No hesitation whatsoever from that there. If you check the uh, website out on this one, James will detail all the history we've got with it about that mileage. If you're looking at what I'm looking at, that interior there looks right to me. There you have it, the Triumph Acclaim, 1.3 litre automatic that one.